Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you how to find slow consumers using Confluent Control Center. I'm using the Control Center demo we've got set up on GitHub at Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. We've got a whole separate video showing you how to get that set up. Make sure you watch that video and follow along with the steps. Get the demo environment set up if you haven't yet already. That'll let you follow along with all the steps in here and do exactly what I'm showing. Now, finding and fixing slow consumers is critical in real-time applications where you're expected to be able to produce and consume messages with as little latency as possible. That might seem obvious, but trust me, this is a bread and butter problem that you need to know how to tackle. Now, Kafka itself might be rock solid and your admin skills might be amazing, just beyond reproach, but who knows who's writing those consumers, right? Those could be slow and problematic for any reason at all. So let's learn how to defend ourselves. Now, all the consumers in our demo app work just fine. So we're gonna have to simulate a slow consumer using Kafka's quota feature. We're gonna rate limit consumption on the broker side to just one of our consumers. We're gonna apply the quota to just one of those two consumers in a consumer group so we can compare them. We'll have one good, normal, fast one and one slow one. We'll make the difference stark so it'll be easy to see. Now in Control Center, here we are in the streams monitoring view. Let's drill down into the details. First, we see the group aggregate view. And if we look at the two consumers, that's consumer app one and consumer app two, we can see the relative performance of the two. If you look at the average latency of consumer app one, you see around nine or 10 milliseconds and about the same thing for consumer app two. They're in the ballpark of good numbers. So really right now, everything looks fine. Now I'm gonna go out to the shell and add a throttle to one of the consumers. I'm doing this with a script that applies artificially low consumer byte rates to one of the consumers. Again, this is on the broker side. So the consumer in reality is perfectly healthy, but we're setting this throttle in order to make it seem slow to control center, which is just observing from the outside. And let's go back into control center and see what things look like. We're looking at the stream monitoring view for the consumer group. And remember the group here that we're concerned with is called app. And look at that. Latency has spiked in the most recent measurement. Consumer app one latency has gone from a quite respectable 10 milliseconds in our little container system here running on a laptop to almost uh, 13 seconds. I think that's probably bad. You know, I don't know what your SLAs are, but we'll go ahead and say that that's a problem. Meanwhile, consumer app two is still ticking along just fine. Sub 20 milliseconds looks great. Now, let's just say I'm an operator and I noticed this slow consumer for the first time in the control center GUI. And I thought, hey, well, uh, that's bad. Maybe it'll go away, but I'd like to know if it ever happens again. I can actually set up an alert so I don't have to just watch this browser tab all the time. We click on the latency and click on set up an alert. Now, if I clicked there, that would take me to alert management. Uh, I'm not gonna do that just yet. We have another whole video dedicated to that topic, but just so you know, this is the kind of thing that you'd want alerting on. So you don't have to be watching it synchronously all the time. Furthermore, if I look at this consumer, I can see which partitions are impacted. I can see that this consumer's latency is this terrible 13 seconds and view details tells me that it's partition zero uh, that this consumer is reading from. Now let's get back to the health monitoring view. On the left, the chart shows the produce rate, which is when data is written to Kafka. Over on the right, the chart shows the fetch rate, which is when data is read from Kafka. Now notice the fetch rate looked pretty good for a while in the graph and then suddenly shot up to around 17 seconds. This is of course, when we insidiously applied that quota to the broker. If I click on this graph, you'll see something really cool. Now you'll get a breakdown in terms of the aggregates of where the time is being spent for the requests on that broker. And this is a giant spotlight on exactly where the latency is in terms of this little pathological condition that we've created here. Super cool. From the perspective of an application developer and with only application developer tools available to you, you can't really see enough to measure latency in this way. It would be really hard to do. You'd have to build a bunch of special machinery. Somebody might tell you that you're not meeting your application SLAs for latency, but you can't verify that. You can't measure much. You can't see why. Control Center makes it easy to find slow consumers. It enabled us to identify the latency quantitatively. We actually had a number. 
identify which consumer groups were affected, then which consumers, which brokers, and even which partitions are impacted. I hope you're starting to see how Control Center is a little bit like X-ray vision for your Confluent Enterprise cluster. It makes potentially really difficult things like diagnosing slow consumers easy.